What's up guys, Tim from Heavy Metal Off-Road here. Today I want to show you how to install our bed bar rack system. Check it out. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do for both sides, we're gonna depress that little tang and remove this plastic end cap from the mounting rail and the front. The frontmost one you can just put into a position in between the bars. If you're running a three bar setup, you're gonna wanna remove all of everything in the front until you put in your center bar because you need to install the nuts from the ends. All right, here's the hardware you can expect to come with your bed bar kit. You have your 3 8 bolts, washers, and your T-slot nuts. Now, if you have a two bar setup, go ahead and install two of these T-slot nuts with the narrow end facing inwards of the truck two on the rear and two on the front. If you have a three bar setup, you can install four from the back end. All right, so the only tool you're gonna need is a 9 socket and ratchet or just a 9 16 wrench. All right, so let's show you how to put the bed bars on. Let's start with the front bar and you'll know that because I mount the universal mounting plates on the driver's side. So the tabs will go here and then your plates will go across. They're very light too, but they're also made out of DOM too, roll cage material, so they're very strong. And what you're gonna wanna do is really look at where you put the nuts. So just kind of position these things close to the end here. I would recommend putting your little cap back in, and then these nuts will go right about there. So go ahead and lift the bar, and it should just drop right in the place. And here you can see, there's a bolt hole there. And you stick your finger in there, you can find the other one. Just hand thread it in, like that. Keep it loose, and then what you're gonna to wanna to do is just make sure the edge of that is lined up with that cap. And do it on the other side as well. You can even grab a little screwdriver, if it helps, and just kinda of follow it along. Sometimes if your finger's a little big, it just kinda of helps to throw one of those in there. Now that you know this is aligned on both sides with the plastic cap, you can go ahead and tighten this one down. Now all you need is your 9 16 Tighten it a little snug. You don't wanna start deforming the rail. If you see it just starting to, to flex out a little bit, go ahead and stop tightening. And there you are, it's solid. All right, so what we did is we went ahead and installed the front bar, as you'd seen. We installed the rear bar the same way. It's gonna go all the way to the edge of that cap, on both sides. And then you can go ahead and um, take a tape measure. If you have a third bar, just go ahead and make sure it's even from plate to plate on both sides. This is the 17 inch model. So it sits right below the third brake light level. We offer the nine inch and the 21 inch. 21 inch is one inch above the cab. So you can put your XL tent or um, surfboard, paddleboard, kayak, whatever you want. This side gets universal mounting plate tabs that heavy metal off-road manufacturers. And on this side we get the high lift jack tabs. 
We have some updated designs coming soon. They're all plenty strong. All right, let's check out some of the accessories you can put on here. We have our LED light mount tabs that you can put any kind of pod on upside down. And you can see the bolt will not interfere with a rooftop tent. You've got plenty of clearance there, at least about an inch and a quarter. So do that both sides. And swivel them. You can angle them out any way you want, up and down. All right, so let's check out our heavy metal off-road universal mounting plates. Uh, very easy to install. We give you these bolts here. They have a flat mounting surface, so it won't dig into your roto packs or anything else you're mounting on there. Um, it's got a square head, so you only need one tool. Just go ahead and slip it right in there like that. Grab your washer. Put it on the back side. Nut. And tighten that. Here's our flat mounting surface. Got the heavy metal logo. You can get these things powder coated if you like, or you can keep them shiny like this. Looks like we've got a little spider friend here. You see the bars perfectly match the angle of the cab, right to the sliver. Love paying attention to those kinds of details here. On the back side, we give you washers and nuts. In this example, you're only seeing um, some just uh, no lock washers here, um, but we give you nylon locking washers. Uh, for the final install. Okay, so transformation here. We went from three bars to two, and you can see that you still have the option of mounting things front to rear on our 45 inch universal mounting plate. It uses the same hardware. We didn't have to move our front and rear bar they stayed exactly where they were. So the three bar, two plate design allows full use of the bed as well as the two bar setup. So you get maximum separation here to mount your big rooftop tents. So quick fists, um, standard bolts, you know, you can mount your rota packs here, um, axes, shovels, um, UTV spare tires, I mean, whatever you want. Um, would recommend putting a high lift jack on there. That's what the high lift jack mounts are for. But all in all, this thing is super rigid. Um, it is formed since it's extra long, so it's got plenty of rigidity. Yeah, very smooth, laser cut, the logo. We also have our high lift jack mounting tabs. So they mount underneath like that. Let me get a better view over here. And your high lift jack just mounts across the two bars or the third bar if you had it right here. No tool installation if you have wing nuts. You tighten that and this thing is solid. It's moving the truck here. It's not gonna go anywhere. Very solid. It's not sticking past the cab at all. Maybe just a little bit. This is an aftermarket kind of welded on plate here. But here's kind of the whole picture. And that is our 17 inch bed bar system. All right guys, ending it here. Subscribe and click the notify button. Check out one of these videos here on the screen. Check out heavymetaloffroad.com for all of your accessory needs. Check out Facebook, Instagram, and until next time, grab life by the rocks.